Right now, the trend is really good. We are 51 days into the uh, semester. I think about 30 plus days of school time, which is uh, awesome. And just over 15 days of employees returning to campus. Uh, our numbers as far as positive cases, rates of positivity, all down. That is not specific to Auburn. That is across the state and very much across the country. So we're in a good situation now. This is not time to stop doing what we need to be doing as far as mitigating the transmission or spread of the virus. It's an unknown. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of speculation out there because we don't have a true number on how many people actually got the disease we have numbers on how many people got vaccinated. So you have to put those two numbers together to really get to whether or not we had herd immunity. Right now, the target for herd immunity is gonna be up in the 80, 85% range. Uh, part of that is because of the variants. Uh, I'm sure we're not even close to that right now, but we're probably well above the 35%. So somewhere in between there is the right number. The best case scenario for us is if for some reason this virus decides to mutate into a relatively inert virus. You know, that's, that's a miracle if that could happen. The reality is the virus is still contagious. There's still a large percentage of the population that is susceptible to the virus. So even though I've read and seen some opinion pieces on the possibility of herd immunity being achieved by the spring, I don't, I don't buy it, I don't believe it. I think I said in earlier videos, we're gonna be wearing masks all through 2021 because this is a respiratory virus, it's still contagious, it hasn't gone anywhere, it still has the same mission to find people who have not been infected and infect them. And therefore, I think that it will continue. Now, because of vaccination, because of a lack, because of warmer weather coming, because of a lack of uh, holidays where people and families are gathering, I think we will see a drop in cases as we go through. But remember, last spring and summer, this virus did not show a lot of seasonality to it. Everybody was optimistic that when the warm weather came, the virus would kind of decrease or disappear. It didn't happen. In fact, it took off. And it was because, again, of gatherings and, and, and uh, long weekend holidays that caused that to happen. So um, I'm not as optimistic, but it's an opinion running out there. There continues to be problems with getting enough vaccine doses all around the country, definitely uh, in the state of Alabama, and of course then in Lee County. Uh, we are, We've given out all our first doses uh, that we had available. We've now given out over 3,300 of second doses and will continue this week as we get some doses. We were very, very fortunate uh, in cooperation and uh, with the understanding from the Alabama Department of Public Health and working with East Alabama Medical Center to get a few hundred doses that we can use for second doses and those people who are eligible for it and would have been eligible last Saturday or before have already been invited and will get uh, immunized uh, on Tuesday. What's the right timing for the second dose, specifically the Moderna vaccine? When the studies were done, it was determined they tested it at different time periods and 28 days was considered the optimal minimal time period to get the second dose. The data goes out to at least uh, six weeks, but beyond six weeks, there really isn't any data. So the easy answer is 28 days or more, uh, but there appears to be right now no maximum date for the second dose. You should get it as soon as you can, closest to the 28th day but there's not a problem if you get it later than 28 days. Mm -hmm. 
after you get your second dose and approximately two weeks after that second dose is when you are determined to have the maximal immune response to the vaccine. That gives you a certain degree of immunity. And according to the new CDC's guidelines, as well as recently ADPH has started to adopt, if you were to get exposed within 90 days of receiving the second dose and you were to get a direct exposure, you have no symptoms, uh, then you can consider yourself immune and you will not have to quarantine. So there is a 90-day window. More than likely, that 90-day window will get expanded as more scientific information comes out. But right now, we're working with the science that within, if a person gets the COVID virus uh, at uh, 90 days out, they tend to not get reinfected, very, very, almost no reinfection rate. So therefore, that's the belief that there is enough immunity for 90 days. Again, expect that to go further out with time.